Yo, what's good, YouTube? We're back here in the next video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the process of me making my PS5 Black Edition because the original PS5 is so ugly to me. So I got all the accessories, everything that I use, my controller, the PS5, my headset, everything, all black. Even the light, even the light that is in the middle of the PS5, I made that all black. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. And if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Everything I use in this video is gonna be in the description. So if you wanna know what it is, just go down there and you can get it. If you're new, oh wait, did I already say that? Hopefully I said that. Let's just get into the video. To open up the PS5 or take off the plates. So as I know you're supposed to pull from here, not the edge, so I'm gonna pull from right here and pull towards you. So just go like this and take it off like that. So I'll just put that over there and then we'll turn it around. And then again, don't pull from the edge, pull from the inner. And that easy. So I took out both of the plates. All right, so now this is the sticker. The sticker is from d -Brand. So now, as you can see in the middle of the PS5 is glossy and we want matte black. So this is the middle sticker. This is for the bottom, this is for the middle. As you see, this is the USB A and USB C. So we're gonna use this to cover up the middle. They also gave me a second one for free. This is called the Robo Camel or Robot Camel or something like that. I'm not gonna use this. I'm probably just gave it to my brother. But thanks, D-Brand, for that. And also, they gave me a microfiber to clean the middle before I put it on. They gave me two. They gave me a black and white. So that was cool. I didn't know I was going to get in that. So let's just get into sticking this on now. All right, so this is from Flaming Toes. This is a light decal. This is gonna make the light right here, you know, when the LED comes on, when you turn on your PS5. It's only gonna work when it's white, so when it's on. But if you have it on rest mode, it's not gonna work. But this is gonna make it all black. So let's just open this up. All so this is a sticker. As you can see, it's black. And on here, it says, oh, it tells you which side is for which. So the first one is left, and then the top one is right. So I guess that's when your PS5 is standing up looking at you. So this side is left, this side is right. So let me start on the left side. The left side is the bottom one. Yeah, so that looks good. All right, so I put on the skin now. The skin is very straightforward. All I have to do is just line up these two with the power and the eject button, and then everything just went smoothly. It lined up with the USB-C and the USB-A, and then just all the way to the back. And the bottom was like the easiest because you really didn't have to line up anything. Like it was basically it was just set there for you. So yeah, that was putting that on. Now we're gonna get on to the plates. So this is the box. The box is sick. I saw it in videos, but I didn't know it was gonna feel like, when you feel it, it feels premium. But let me just put this right here. And I'm gonna open this actually. So when you open the box, I'll open it from the wrong way. So when you open the box, you get this foam. So I guess this is for, oh, you lay your PS5 on this. I was using the towel the whole time. 
Actually, later PS5 on this. And uh, this is the first plate. This looks sick. Oh my. This is the first plate. This is for the, this side. So let's compare it to the white one. We'll take the white one. And which one do you guys like? The black or the white? Let me hold it properly. Which one looks better? This, the white, it didn't get like dirty, but like if you had a white controller, it got dirty fast. But I like black better. That's also why I bought it. So I just put this back over here. So I don't have the this side right now, so I'm just gonna set this right here. Then they have the next foam. Oh, so the foam is so they don't scratch each other, I guess. That's what it's for. And they don't break in the in shipment. So I'll just put this over there. And then this is the side we're on right now. And this is just the regular side. But if you look at the regular side on the PS5 one and then this one, you're obviously gonna see a difference, which is there's no PlayStation logo, but I do not care about that. Like PlayStation logo is just a cutout. So I don't care about that. So now we're just gonna put this on. So let me set this up. Put it this way. So this is the top, as you can see it's going up. So we're just gonna line it up. Okay. And then you hear the click, so that's how you know it's good. So this is the first side of it. Looks good. Now we're gonna go on to this side. And just make sure the dots at the top line up. I see the two dots are here and the two dots are here. So just line that up and then just push up. So now you're gonna push up and you hear the click and that's it. So now you have an all black PS5. That looks beautiful. The skin's there. So it's all matte. It's not a glossy in the middle and then just two matte blacks. So that's the PS5. That was so easy. And now we're gonna get on to the next things. All right. Now after all that madness, this is just time for the accessories now. So now, first thing, the charging station. So as I told you guys, I got this custom made. It was by Prime Star. Prime Star is something like that. So let's open this. It was from the UK. So shipping was crazy. But as you can see, it comes in this box, like the regular thing. Comes with the cable for it. And I opened the box to open because I had to open it because it came with a UK plug, but I had to switch it out for a regular, a regular cable here in Canada. And then this is the charging station. So as you see on the box, this is what the charging station looks like. As you see on the back, this is what it looks like. But the one that I got, I said I got it custom made, and I got it in black. So that's what it looks like. Instead of it being the regular white. So I want it to, to be black to match with the PS5. So them together, this is like a mini PS5 and this is PS5. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this in the description where you can get that from, if you guys wanna go get that. And now we're gonna get into the controller. This is the new controller that came out with the red, the red and black. I got the black, obviously to go with this. So now we're just gonna unbox the controller. And I never opened them yet. I had it for like a month and a half and I never opened it, so. I have to see what it looks like. I can open it up. Oh my. All right, this is the black controller. This is how it looks. Feels exact same as the white one, but I love black. So now, this is the first black controller. I'm right, just gonna sit it on here, on the charging station. So I can, I'm at the back, so I barely know what it looks like. But hopefully it looks good to you guys. I'm right, just gonna open up the second one. Same thing, but I just got a second one from my friends come over. So the next black one here, and sit it down there. So 
now this is what my PS5 looks like as we started out it's a regular PS5 now we added the storage into it we added the middle skin we added new plates we added the light decal so now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's turned on all right YouTube this is after everything is set up and done brought it all back upstairs and we're finished so this is my headphones I did an unboxing you guys can go back to my last video this is the Arctic 7 P's and let's just turn on the PS5. And remember, we set up the light. So when you usually turn on your PS5, you would see, I believe it's a blue light and then it'll go white, but you see no light and you can hear it. So now let's go over to the screen that the PS5 is on and it turns on. If we go back, no lights at all. Not, you can't see nothing. So that's what it is. And I'll show you again that the PS5 is on and that's it. All right, that's the video. I'm sorry if the video was so scuffed, or hopefully it wasn't scuffed. But I recorded the video like a week and a half, two weeks ago, so I'm sorry about that. But if you guys need any help, questions, anything, I have my social down below. You guys can comment in the comment section. But you guys just shoot me a DM on Instagram if you guys need any help. But everything I use in the video, all the accessories, the controller, headset, PlayStation, the sticker for the middle, the light decal, everything is gonna be in the description. So you guys can buy it. And I wish I had affiliate link, but I don't. So that's tough, but that's gonna be the video. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Alexa, who's the best YouTuber? Josiah K. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. All right, that's the video, YouTube. Later.